You know, let's, let's turn now to a News 5 investigation that's getting results from a man who'd been trying for years to prove his ex-wife was milking the court system so she could continue receiving alimony payments. Following a 14-year marriage that ended more than a decade ago, the ex-wife's attorney filed paperwork claiming she was too sick to work and needed more alimony. But Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross uncovered not only was this woman working as a caregiver, she had no issue disclosing how much money she was making. It seems like a really uphill battle to prove things. It's why Greg Sarnecki and his wife, Teresa, reached out to News 5 Investigates, adamant this woman, Helga Sarnecki, wasn't being honest in court about her employment. For the last decade, Helga had been collecting alimony to support her. This year, Helga's attorney, R. Gregory Haller, filed this motion to not only continue spousal payments, but increase the amount from $100 a month to $600 a month. Court records show Helga had testimony from a former employer alleging she could no longer lift and work at a building maintenance company. But cell phone video recorded by Helga's next door neighbor clearly shows Helga lifting and moving this backyard water pond liner just a few days before she appeared in court. Then there's cell phone video Teresa provided us showing Helga dancing with a male stripper in a club. The couple believes this isn't indicative of a woman who is too sick to work. If somebody could just follow her on a daily basis and see how she is when she goes to the grocery store. All we can do is show before and after videos of when she's not being watched how she is and then the videos of when she is in a courtroom how she is. After our original story aired, Helga called the News 5 Investigates tip line. For one, I never said I couldn't work. You may find that odd because Helga's own attorney filed this motion on June 8, 2021 that specifically told the courts that Helga could not work at all beginning the last week of May. When requesting an increase in spousal payments, Helga's attorney also said Helga's health has deteriorated in 2021 and continues to deteriorate at a more rapid pace. He also stated that Helga was taking care of just one client as a caregiver due to her pain and health problems. If you're qualified to take care of people's loved ones, elderly loved ones, you would think you're qualified to take care of yourself. With Teresa and Greg's permission, News 5 responded to an ad Helga had posted on the internet for caregiving services. Remember, Helga's own attorney was trying to get the courts to increase spousal payments due to her medical issues and inability to work. Helga agreed to meet one of our undercover employees at this Starbucks, where she admitted she doesn't just take care of one client, she has four, and then disclosed that one of her clients pays her $2,000 a month. After this evidence came to light, we've since learned Helga has dropped her request for alimony payments. In fact, Greg and Teresa don't have to pay Helga another penny moving forward, a case that was tied up in the court system for 13 years since 2009 is now closed just a few months after our original story uncovered the truth. I knew that your story blew her out of the water. Teresa and Greg are now in Texas, but I was able to catch up with them by phone for their reaction. They say the ending to this nightmare is finally over. There could be zero contact, not even through a third party. Like we couldn't contact her and she couldn't contact us in any way, which was like a freaking quadruple blessing, you know? Not only did everything in, but she could never contact us ever again. Meanwhile, Helga had this to say regarding our story. You don't know anything. You're not a good person. You're just a selfish one that don't know nothing. And you went off a one sided story and just played it because you wanted to be on the news. That's it. And we reached out to Helga's attorney twice to get his reaction to the ending of this case, but we did not hear back. I also reached out to Helga one final time just to give her a chance to explain her side of things. She sent a one line text message back that said, quote, I can't talk with you. Now, if you need our help exposing a problem or issue in our community, we're listening. You can call our 24 seven tip line anytime at the number on your screen, 719-228-6275, or send an email to news5investigates at koaa.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross.
Eric, great work. Now, in our commitment to be transparent with you, our viewers, KOAA News 5, we were asked to testify in an upcoming court hearing related to this case. That hearing was later vacated because the matter was resolved before that scheduled court date. KOAA's corporate legal team, however, notified attorneys on that case that we would continue our reporting, but would not testify for either party. In other news,